In many ways, the Maybe story is Oklahoma's story. John and Lottie Maybe set new standards to become pioneers in philanthropy and as true pioneers in the Oklahoma Territory. 28-year-old John Maybe claimed 160 acres for homestead in what is now Comanche County. With his wife of seven years, the former Lottie Jane Boren, he left his parents, Simon and Mary Jane, and seven siblings behind. John started a wagon yard and helped found the town of Randallette, Oklahoma. Things started looking up for the Maybes. The oil bug bit. John and Lottie leased their 160-acre homestead to the Carter Oil Company. By 1936, John Maybe was the world's largest oil well drilling contractor. The Maybes added ranching to oil by purchasing a 57,000-acre ranch near Midland, Texas. Together with a partner, he formed the Maybe and Pyle Cattle Company. At one time, the company included six ranches and 20,000 head of Hereford cattle. From the beginning of their wealth, the Maybes believed strongly in helping others. Tulsa was now home. In 1948, John and Lottie formed the J.E. and L.E. Maybe Foundation. Soon, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and the Southwest were benefiting from the Foundation's generosity and efforts, building and breaking ground for the future. Children and youth were especially important to John and Lottie. Hospitals, orphanages, and the University of Tulsa were key among those supported by the Foundation. John counted the rich and famous, even Will Rogers, among his close friends. But John maybe often liked to recall his days as a mule trader, joking that he always knew he'd do well in oil if he could swap mules. In 1949, the man who never went beyond the third grade in formal education received an honorary doctorate in humanities from the University of Tulsa. The Maybes led fundraising efforts in Tulsa to build the National Cowboy Hall of Fame. Years later, the foundation would provide a leading grant for the Visions of the West capital campaign. John and Lottie never had children, but through their efforts, thousands have benefited. Because of their leadership, generosity, and vision, the Maybe name will long stand as one of the greatest in Oklahoma. By the time of his birth, in 1925, the name Noble had been known and respected in North Texas and across the Red River into Indian Territory for more than 40 years. His grandmother, Hattie Noble, along with husband Samuel Roberts Noble, were Oklahoma pioneers. Together, they made a successful life for their close-knit family in Ardmore, Indian Territory. Sam was named for his grandfather, and even then, all knew he was worthy of the honor. Like his father, Samuel Lloyd, before him, Sam Noble would make and leave his mark as one of Oklahoma's greatest and most respected oil men. And he would help build a national memorial to the West and the code of the land he loved so well. His father had founded the Samuel Roberts Noble Foundation in 1945. When Lloyd Noble died a few years later, Sam, with his family's support, accepted the responsibility of leadership in all of the Noble Enterprises, of Noble Affiliates Incorporated and its subsidiary companies. Under his guidance, they continued to flourish. Oil was king in Oklahoma, and the Noble name reigned with it. Sam loved the oil fields, the outdoors, and the courageous men who loved them as he did. Whether in the boardroom or on one of the trail rides he loved with Samadan businessmen and friends, Sam Noble believed a word was his bond, and a handshake was as good as any contract. He also believed in the love of his family. He married Mary Jane Curtis in 1946. A family man to his core, Sam always had time for his beloved wife and children and taught them to share his love of the outdoors. Sam Noble was as respected by world leaders as he was by those at home. Presidents and senators were among his admirers. 
During his life, he served on the board of directors of no less than 37 prestigious organizations, including the National Petroleum Council, the Oklahoma Medical Research Foundation, and the National Cowboy Hall of Fame. Today, his name and his legacy live through the work of the Noble Foundation, which continues to provide millions of dollars in funding for projects that benefit Oklahomans and others around the world. The National Cowboy Hall of Fame dedicated the Sam Noble Special Events Center to his honor and memory in 1994. Sam Noble, Lottie Maybe, and John Maybe. Tonight, the National Cowboy Hall of Fame proudly adds their names to the Hall of Great Westerners.